Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about a slightly different topic again. As some of you might know, I'm quite into fishing and going out on my jet ski. Uh, and this is my ski, it's been a great ski. Um, it's a Kawasaki 2019 um, Ultra LX um, jet ski. It's not supercharged. It's really good in terms of um, its stability and handles the sea quite well. Um, and it's got a decent fuel economy as well with quite a decent hull. Um, now the issue that I have, which some of you who don't use their jet ski as often might have as well, um, or, or their boat or their caravan or, or, or anything else for that matter, or even their car, is after a period of time while it's sitting idle, the battery obviously drains and, and goes down and runs out. Um, I already had to replace one battery and um, I don't want to do it again. So this is the setup that I'm planning to do. Um, now, it, the purpose is obviously to charge the battery here um, while you, your jet ski or your board is sitting idle. Um, if you've got a power point, then obviously you don't need to go through all of this. You can just connect like a normal uh, 12 volt battery charger connected to your um, to 40 volt mains and just charge the battery directly from there. Because where I am um, in my shed, I don't have a power point close by. I've had to resort to a slightly different um, way of doing it. Um, so what I've gone and done is I have bought this uh, little solar panel. Uh, it's made by a company called Powertran. I think it's Chinese. Um, it's a 15 volt, 12 volt channel, uh, 12 volt um, panel that uh, generates, I think, 0 0.84 amperes of current. And it's a sort of a trickle charger for your battery um, while your ski is sitting idle. So uh, that's all well and good. I've, as you can see, I've mounted it on my S ski here with the screws that they've been, um, the panel's been supplied with. And it's quite secure. It's not sort of moving or going anywhere. And yeah, it sort of moves with the, with the lid of the S ski. So that's all good. Um, the, the problem is to pass the wiring in a more permanent way uh, onto the battery of the jet ski. So I can just leave it here uh, while I'm not going out. And uh, no matter the weather, storm or rain or whatnot, um, whenever there's a bit of sun, the, the panel can charge the battery. Um, so here are the things that I, uh, you will need. Uh, one's obviously, getting a panel, a small panel. You don't need a big panel for uh, a jet ski battery. It's not a huge battery. Uh, a bit of conduit um, to pass the wiring through, especially where it's gonna be exposed to the elements outside. Um, you need a connector, uh, depending upon the type of panel you've got. Connector with a, I've opted with an Anderson plug at the other end. And then you need um, like a more permanent sort of fixture um, to connect to the battery. So these two eyelets will go on the battery ends and this Anderson plug will connect to this. So that will sort of co complete our connection. It will be with Anderson plugs, it will be a bit more secure. Um, I've also purchased this uh, Bluetooth battery monitor just to see how the battery is going. Apparently you can monitor um, the battery wirelessly uh, or remotely with it, but I haven't opened it yet. So I'll see how we go with it at the end. Um, so my plan is, um, essentially yeah, to pass the wiring from this uh, panel at the back of this Kawasaki um, onto the battery at the front. So let's go to the front and see where the battery exactly is. So uh, now this is a 2019 model uh, and just to let you guys know again. Um, so, okay, so we pop the lid up, we take out our little storage container here and uh, now this is the fairly spacious inside uh, compartment. Inside uh, probably needs a bit more of a clean, but um, you've got these two little um, lids that come off. Um, now they're held by little scrivets. Um, I've taken out most of them. I just left a couple just to sort of demonstrate to you how they work. So in these models, these scrivets are the center push type. I don't know if you can see it or not, but essentially you've got to get a flat hand screwdriver and just um, push the center compartment and then the screw it comes loose and then you take it off. Same thing with the other one. So this one at the bottom, now it's not secure so I can just take it off with my hand. Uh, so you take this one off. Just put it to the side um, and you will see that um, this is where your battery is. 
so that's where your battery is sitting all nice and secure and then um, you can take this one off as well this one to the side as well and you will see that um, this is the the part that communicates to the inside of the jet ski where the motor is so next step would be to just go and remove these seats so just popping it up here and just moving it and taking the seat out it's the back seat and then just, just popping it here again taking this bit out this is the front seat for the uh, front two passengers so we'll just put this one to the side as well and now you can get to the the main sort of engine compartment of this jet ski so now uh, what i'm planning to do is pass the wiring um, connected to this cage here which is actually quite a handy cage i bought from brisbane kawasaki when i got the jet ski it's got fishing rod holders and so obviously you can um put an sk there as well and you can hook it to this this clamp on the back of the ski so anyway so my plan is to pass the wiring uh, probably sort of zip tie cable tied bring it around here and then run it around here and then just pass it under the seat and then as you can see there's a couple of little grommets here one's this one um, the other was this one which i just removed from that hole earlier so take this one out and i think i can pass the wiring through this hole uh, probably without enlarging it and that will allow me to get inside this um this engine compartment here and then i can just pass my wiring through here all the way down um to that that section at the front which is which is this section here um and then i can yeah i can hook it to my battery i might even be able to take it out through one of these holes actually uh well not these ones they're for the scrivers um see this hole here now that's already been there from factory so I probably may need to just enlarge it a little bit, um, but it just communicates to the engine compartment there. So I can maybe bring the wiring through here and then just connect it to the battery um, and mount it here permanently. So we'll just go ahead, we'll start with the process um, of passing this wiring through and bringing it onto here and then we'll connect it to the battery. So I'll show you when it's um, sort of more or less done next. And I'll show you how I pass the wiring through. Okay guys, so here we are. Uh, I'm all done with the, with the connection and uh, it seems to be working fine. So I'll just show you again uh, what I've done. So this is the panel, obviously mounted on the ESCII here with four screws on the lid of the ESCII. Um, I put a conduit over the wiring of the solar panel uh, wherever I could. So conduit here connected to this, um, this frame or carrier. And I just sort of bar uh, secured it with cable ties here and moved it to um, up until here now i made a slight change in plan instead of bringing it here under the back seat and making the hole bigger i just been able to um tuck it under here pretty securely uh, so there's a tiny little space here uh, which is enough for one single small cable i think this is a 2.5 millimeter square cable um and it's just it's just tucked in here under this um, plastic sleeve here um, reasonably I had to actually push it in so it's quite secure I don't think it'll ever come out and it's coming out here so you can put your seats no problem um, and the wire is coming out here there's just a little slit here um, between the plastic and the and the hull of the ski so just passed it through here then I've secured it with a cable tie here to this metal bracket here um, and then I passed the wiring again with the conduit secured it with a cable tie further down and I brought it forward there and, and it's going all the way through this loop here and I brought it back here so it's going under this bracket and it's coming back up and it's secured with a cable tie so it doesn't move now the other end, uh, come to the battery. So what we've done here is we first attach the battery monitor, uh, positive, negative, 
um, attach the two ends. Uh, so this is a 12 volt wireless Bluetooth monitor um, that I picked them from Autobahn today as well. I'll put the links to everything as I said earlier uh, in the description section. So attach the battery monitor to the battery, um, secured it with an adhesive tape to the strap that goes here on top of the battery to secure the battery so it doesn't sort of move anywhere. So this is secure. And then at the other, um, the other thing we've done is I've connected the eyelet to the Anderson plug connection to the battery, positive, negative, 60 amp fuse here, and it's going to the Anderson plug here. The other uh, Anderson plug we've connected to this and we've passed the wiring. I had to make this hole a little bit bigger with a 13 millimeter drill bit. So this is the hole I was talking about earlier. I passed the wiring um, of the lead with the Anderson plug at this end and the connected to the solar wiring at the other end through here. I had to take this off the Anderson plug to pass them through, but that's fairly easy to do. So pass them through here, through this hole, and brought it into the engine compartment. And this is the wire that's coming from the front there. So I've secured it to um, this metal bracket with a cable tie too, so it doesn't move. So both the ends, this is the end that's coming from the solar panel. This is the end that's coming from the battery now. So they're nice and close to each other. And when you need to attach it, you just disconnect them. So um, let's move on to this app. I'll just get onto my other phone. Okay, so that's what, um, Okay, well that's what the app looks like. You can download it from App Store. It's called BM2 or Battery Monitor 2. So just click on it. And it actually shows you the, um, I was connecting now, so. So select the type of your battery. This case would be a 12 volt lead acid battery. Wrong notifications, I know. Okay. So tells you the exact voltage of the battery, the battery status. Um, it's got a few other things as well you can configure from the app. I haven't really gone and done that. Um, this is this red line shows the charging status. So where we're at right now, we are 12 point, around 12.4849 volts. Um, and it's saying the battery status is okay. Okay, now let's go ahead. So I'll just put the phone down here. Let's go ahead and connect these two um, and see what it does to the the charging starter so i'll just put this phone here Hang on. put them in a way so you can see okay so you can see it's 12.48 now i'll just go and connect the connect that um, solar panel charger to the end that's coming from the battery connection and as you can see as soon as we do it it shows that the voltage going up which means obviously charging so this is what i've done here i've, I've just connected these two and over here you can see it's charging even though i'm not fully in sun right now so see where i'm at i'm actually in the shed and i'm only getting a small amount of sun and this uh, panel as i said earlier generates only around 0.84 amperes of current so doesn't generate a huge lot of current. It's more like a trickle charger, which is which is nice and fine because that's all you need just to maintain your battery while it's parked and not being used in your ski. Um, and yeah, there you go. It's working. So it just keeps going up. So that's it, guys. Um, yeah, so a fairly uh, simple sort of easy way um, to make sure that you you can use the same principle on a on a boat, caravan, jet ski, whatever, um, to make sure that the battery doesn't run out. This one um, is on my Kawasaki 2019 Ultra LX uh, non-supercharged jet ski. Um, and this is, this is how I've done it. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to pass the wiring. Um, you could probably use other panels as well. But for me, I think this panel is, is sufficient and it seems to be doing the job um, quite well. So it's up to 12.85 volts now. So, so there you go, guys. Um, 
just a way to keep your battery from running out in your jet ski. I mean, it looks more or less, it feels more or less like a permanent sort of a secure connection to me. So you could just, just leave it connected um, indefinitely. Or you could just, when you're going out, uh, you can just disconnect it there because when you're running the ski, obviously they'll charge the battery anyway. So you could just disconnect these two ends and when you come back home, you could just connect them again. But up to you. I think you could just leave them connected as well. But anyway, um, you should be able to put the seats back on and just obviously close these two compartments and uh, the top there and, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys liked the video and it was it was useful. Um, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.